What is the significance of the priest's Beretta? It has four sides, but only three points on top. Why is that? Uh, so for those who might not know, the Beretta is the black sort of squarish hat that the ministers will wear during mass and generally has three fins that stick out of them. Uh, and he wears it when he presses it to the altar and then takes it off, puts it on when he's sitting and then wears it when he leaves. Well, the reason I wear it is because that's what's been done uh, for a long time. It's a priestly uh, priestly hat, but with the three uh, bumps on it, the three fins on it. And, you know, three in honor of the Holy Trinity, right? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three on one. The Holy Trinity uh, should be um, our ruler, our guide, our leader, all of our thoughts and actions should emanate from and lead us towards the Most Holy Trinity. There is some symbolism that can be associated with the Beretta, though. Uh, in the Tantra ceremony, which is historically when one would enter into the clerical state and receive the right to wear the cassock and the surplus, uh, you would go before the bishop and he would cut five tufts of hair from your head in the shape of a cross while you're repeating a psalm with him. It's been pointed out that there are five points on the Beretta, sort of the middle and then the four surrounding, and that those represent the, the, the cuts of the tonsure. So in a certain way, it can be seen as a remembrance to the priest of his tonsure that he dedicated himself to the service of the Lord. Um, the origin of it is very practical. It's to keep the priest's head warm. Uh, like, it's like so many things, they just had a practical reason in the beginning. Um, but in the beginning, very beginning, it was a very sort of soft, fluffy hat. And so what happens, you have the soft, fluffy hat on your head and you would grab it to take it off and you would form these little dimples or these bumps. And those bumps were eventually sort of codified as the fins and the hat itself became more sturdy and harder. It's interesting because the the hat that is where the Beretta came from is also the same hat where the uh, graduation cap came from. They were originally the same same thing. They just kind of went in different directions. Men would wear hats as a sign of authority. And so the priest's hat is the Beretta, the sign of his authority. He is, you know, also the only man who wears a hat in the church, well, with the exception, of course, of the of the bishop, right? Uh, because he has the authority there, but he never wears it, you know, at top at the top of the altar, but rather only when he's facing the people, when he's preaching, it's a sign of his authority with regards or his holding the place of Christ with regard, regards to the people. So that's why he wears it also processing in and out when he's among the people, because he is their leader in a certain sense. He is, he represents Christ among them.